screen. Do you see my screen? You should see an incognito window. Okay, perfect. All right, so this is an incognito window. Reason why I'm searching incognito is because it doesn't save my search history with incognito. So I'm trying to show you a fresh search, how if you search Cannabis Franchise Canada, enter, you're gonna see modern day cannabis.ca number one, okay? Best cannabis franchises in Canada, right? We also have this panel that appears on the right. This is a local search panel that we also had appear on the right for this keyword, which has nothing to do with modern day cannabis, right? Cannabis Franchise Canada and Google listed this and put us number one, right? So, and I was just showing you how they come here to this page, very simple page, nothing crazy. They click request franchise application. They fill this form and it puts them through a, 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 an SEO funnel. So a funnel that asks them to fill this out, fill a further qualification survey. After they fill that qualification survey, they then schedule with the sales team. Now, here is the CRM. You guys should be able to see this. Do you guys see the CRM? Perfect. Okay, so you have 58 leads, okay, that have come through this exact exact process literally just off this website modern day website leads literally right off of here for franchising and these are fifty thousand dollar packages right like minimum so if you're selling a high ticket on the back end of doing seo as your front end marketing strategy you will see um very you will see a ton of dividends oh i just realized my video was off as well hopefully you guys can see me okay everything good um so yeah so basically what we're seeing here is like look seo is, is an extremely viable strategy that we're deploying right now not only for this company let's see if variant still ranks toronto digital marketing agency right if i search if i search digital marketing i'm not really looking for anything there's no sales intent right but if i search digital marketing agency or toronto digital marketing agency or digital marketing services i'm looking for something and i'm looking to pay someone to do my marketing right so it's all about what keywords you rank for so if you see here this is an ad this is an ad this is an ad we don't care about ads your paid placements these are all local search up city let's look at that one up city it's a digital marketing uh directory so it's not it's not even an agency yet toronto digital marketing agency that's not an agency right the best toronto let's look at this one this one's also not an agency it's a list of agencies ranked according to some blog so Google sometimes favors those depending on how many backlinks they have. You have Clutch. So clutch.co is a huge website that lists a bunch of different agencies, okay? So still, same thing. We haven't come across one agency yet. We've only been seeing these, um, uh, these directories, right? Um, digital Agency Network, here's another one. Boom, it's a directory. Um, let's see this one, The Manifest. This is a directory, 100 digital marketing companies, Make It Bloom. Let's see this one. These guys look like they're ranking. Okay. Yeah. So these are new. There's a new agency. They just started and uh, they're ranking for that. See, so that's viable for them because they're going to get tons of clicks off of Google. Are we even ranking? Yeah, we're right here. We're the third agency listed for this keyword. Okay. This is variance, right? So am I the first? No. Um, if I'm top five, top, top 10 means you're on the first page. Top 10 means you're in the first page, right? Um, there's a saying with SEO that there's no better place to hide a dead body than on the, um, than on the second page of Google. Okay. So, sorry, just one second. Uh, what tab was I just on? Oh, it was incognito. That's why. Um, okay, so so you can see the vi the vi the viability of uh, of actually like ranking in SEO, and, and it's very simple how to do it. It's not it's nothing crazy. It's not uh, rocket science or you know something extremely difficult, and it can definitely bring in tons of clients. I mean, we started with SEO when we first uh, you know started doing lead gen. Um, it's an easy way to get inbound leads, not have to worry about outbound sales, not have to worry about cold calling, not have to worry about doing any work other than focusing on your SEO. Um, and if you do that, uh, you should be able to see uh, a decent ROI, but it's, it's usually good for like one person 
one person businesses, like people who are just entrepreneurs, one person in the business, um, SEO is, is definitely great for you. So how it works is there's a few buckets you need to accomplish and then we'll, and then we'll get to that next question. So the first one we have here is the on page optimization. Okay. And a lot of these terms are going to seem very weird and technical, but they're not, they're very easy on page optimization means on your page, right? On your page, this is your page, right? This is your on page, right? Is the content on the page, the headings on the page, the buttons, the uh, imagery, the alt text, the uh, overall um, experience of the website on the page, does it align with what you're trying to rank for? So you just said that you got the lead uh, from, S um, from the search phrase, immigration law firm SEO, right? Immigration law firms, right? Okay, that's right there. So immigration law, immigration law firm marketing services, right? Um, you have different keywords in here. This is all the on page, okay? Um, immigration law firms, you have that right here. And then you have SEO for immigration law firms. Um, and then immigration law firm SEO, boom, okay? So basically, you could actually deepen this page even more, uh, Armando. Um, enhance the content on the page to align with what you're ranking for. So now that you've discovered that this is a good keyword for you, you need to deepen the content on your page um, and effectively get uh, your on-page uh, accurate to rank number one. Because if you're already ranking and you're already getting a lead, Google is looking at you. They know, they know that that happened, especially if you have Google analytics installed, if you have Google analytics installed, Google knows everything about your website. You're going to want to install that because then they'll see that you just got a lead and then they'll see that people are converting on your website. Uh, and then what will happen there is they will favor you in the search engines. Um, so assuming you, you increase your on-page optimization. So make sure your website says the things that you need to rank for. Um, my website variants um right here it used to say up here toronto digital marketing agency up here and we were ranking number one for that we used to rank number one for that we don't rank anymore for that because seo is not my biggest source of clientele anymore um but we would have uh, a little bit of content you know on here talking about toronto digital marketing agency and that's why we don't rank as the first agency for that keyword anymore because none of the content on my homepage yet I have a bunch of people backlinking to my page saying that we're a Toronto Digital Marketing Agency. Um, there's no on page. So the on page is gone, right? There's no word saying Toronto Digital Marketing Agency, okay? It doesn't exist on my homepage, which is why we're losing rankings for that keyword. So on page is number one. You have, you have technical SEO, which is number two. And I'm gonna show you guys how to execute all this too. On page, you can honestly do yourself. You don't need anyone else. It's just about reverse engineering what people are going to search and making sure you have content on your page about that. Very simple. Um, technical SEO is all about, you might need a developer for this, but really it's like site speed, like load speed of your website, like the schema markups behind your website, the code structure, right? Like um, any error codes that you might have. So I, I like to use this website, GT Metrics. Um, this will tell you uh, how fast your website is, right? So if I go moderndaycannabis.ca, as an example, I've never actually tested this website um, before. Let's, uh, let's see where we're at with the score. And it's doing a test server location from Vancouver. So that's how it does. It switches up its server location, which means where it's going to try to access the website. Um, and the reason being is because you, you want to see if your, your website's too slow and if it is too slow, you can invest in something called Cloudflare. So this is a really, really slow website. I just realized Modern Day Cannabis, one of my sites, is very slow. It's a D, right? Uh, it's a D rating. So, and it, it, it basically largest, uh, so it'll tell you all the stuff here contributing to a low, slow, a slower load speed, right? So these, these pictures here, it's telling me that a lot of the images that I'm using on my website are too sl are, are slowing down my stuff. That's what it's doing. It's taking resource size, right? You wanna get even more compressed things. So now I know I can increase this to an A if I just change those things. Uh, same thing here. If I go to, let's see, variants. We haven't invested too much in SEO lately, but it's, um, 
definitely something I'm going to re restart again, because just like to your point, it's the best leads. It's the best leads and they might sign up as a lead. They might call you, right? It depends on what you have on your website. So here you have a free website and analysis. Not everyone's going to want that. You know, um, people just want faster action. So they just click this and they call you. You see what I mean? So it doesn't matter how the SEO lead, uh, you know, gets to you. Um, it's just, you have to have it on your website to be conversion rate optimized on my website. I force people to do one action only book a scale up session, right? There's no phone number, right? So book a scale up session, book a scale up session. If I scroll anywhere on the page, you're seeing book a scale up session, regardless, it's going to be there on the left. It's going to be there on the top. doesn't matter where you are on the page, more success stories, um, book a scale up session. I mean, it's everywhere. And I'm trying to basically get people to effectively do one thing and one thing only, which is click that button and go through my funnel. Um, when you're not running a business with multiple people with like 20, 30, 40 plus employees, um, you don't need to do this. Okay. You just, um, you, you can have like a website with like your number, with like your, your email, with like a, a scheduler, like book, a, you know, free website analysis. This is your scheduler, right? You can have lots of entry points into your sales process, like calling, emailing, filling this form, booking a call, right? Like these are all the ways that I also started off doing it like that. Um, once you get a lot bigger and you can no longer, um, you know, go ahead and, uh, and, and, and be all over the place like that, you need to streamline it such that your automations can work because anytime someone fills this or schedules a call or books that free scale up session, they get into the CRM. And then that's when my sales team uh, goes ahead and attacks them. If they just call us, we have call forwarding that will go to everyone, but it's not going to be the same experience as a, as a created lead in the CRM with all the history and the contact records and everything on the CRM for everyone to see. So this is also really slow variance marketing, super slow. So this is, this is literally viable and, and valuable for me. The, the fact that I just searched this, I need to, I'm going to send this to my developer and get this all fixed up in the next 24 to 48 hours. Right. And so you guys should all look at that. I mean, and this, it just goes to show how little we've been investing in SEO because we're doing so many things, um, you know, differently. Um, Armando, we can even check your website. Let's check your website. Let's see where you're at with it, with the score. Um, you might even be like an A grade. Like you never know, like, um, you never know, man. And, and, and the, and this could actually, if you are an A grade here, then this will, this is one of the things in SEO that you're doing well, if, like, which is this technical. So your technical load speed goes under technical uh, SEO. Okay. So if your load speed is really good on your site, it can be one of the highest contributing factors to you um, getting that initial lead that you're dealing with right now. Right. Um, and, and you'll see that usually yes, boom, A grade, I knew it. See, A grade. It's because you don't have a lot of content, right? On my website, I have a shit ton of videos. Video here, right? Imagery here. Look how long it takes just to load a video. Tons of videos, right? Um, these moving things, these are GIFs, right? These uh, animated uh, HTML things. Like I have more of them. Like they just, there's so much moving stuff. So there's so much to load that it's, Im Im it's impossible to get an A grade almost. Um, you can compress things and make it better, but yours, you have, your site literally loads as an A grade because you have um, less like uh, um, constraining content on your website. So, but that's fine. And that's exactly why you got that lead, okay? This is one of the reasons why you got that lead, okay? So let's go boom and let's say load speed, right? And uh, you got to make sure you have this. This is very, very good. A grade load speed is going to really help you. Now, the other thing is on page we said was fixing content on the page. Very simply. I know there's a lot of other stuff that rolls up under on page, but we're not going to go over it. I'm, I'm not trying to confuse you. All you need to know right now, holistically, is that on page optimization is fixing content on the page such that, okay, such that you can actually reverse engineer what people are searching in Google, making sure your content hits 
those topics that are being searched. This is by page, okay? By page, okay? Which means if your home page has content around immigration law from SEO, then only your home page is going to rank for that. If your other pages don't have any content around that, they're not going to rank for it, okay? That's what on pages. Raise your hand if you get on page, if you understand what on page is. Make sure, make, I, want, I just want to make sure you guys get it. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we won't go over on page. You guys get it. It's about putting content, it's about building the relevance of the page. And then technical SEO is all about very technical things, such as load speed. Okay, there's a bunch of other ones like 404. You know, you know, when you go to a page and it says 404, this page doesn't exist, that's a 404 error status code. Okay, you don't want those. You want very few of those on the back end of your website. You actually want zero of them. Or, or even like the 300 uh, codes, the 301s and stuff like that. You don't want any error codes. So error status codes, remove them. Okay. These are technical things. You also have schema markups, right? Each website in the back end, like if I go to variance, right click and go inspect, I'm going to see all this stuff on the right hand side here. Okay. Um, this is going to tell me your schema markups, going to tell me, you know, all the code, et cetera. Let your developer do this. Hire someone on Upwork, hire someone on, you know, any of these websites online, um, freelancer.com, whatever it is. Have someone do this for you. Okay. $100 only. $100 only. So $100 a month, um, not even a month, do it for one month times one month. That's it. Because with technical SEO, all you need to do is get it fixed. It's almost like a checklist. Like we have a technical SEO checklist. Let's see, technical, uh, let's see this SEO audit. Okay. This year, it's going to show you all of the codes and problems and technical issues that could potentially come up. Um, and then you can solve for these things, right? And so, and so that is uh, what a developer will do. Um, and then the next one, next bucket we have is off, and this is the most important bucket out of all of them. And if you get this right, you will rank for anything you want, um, such as you know these high value keywords bringing in you know tons of leads, and we're closing like I showed you with Modern Day Cannabis. That one makes sense for me to invest SEO. Variance doesn't really make sense anymore because we have you know, completely different lead gen strategies that are bringing in a lot of clients. Um, so off page optimization, what you're looking at here is I'm going to break this down simply. I want you guys to understand it. Getting other people. Okay. Let, let's just say actually getting other websites. Okay. Online to link slash refer back to your We understand that. Raise our hands if we understand it. If you, have, if you don't understand this, let me know. So other people, okay? Okay, other websites. So if I go, remember I typed in Toronto Digital Marketing Agency. This is one of the things I literally typed in and I showed you guys the ads. I showed you guys as well the local search and I also showed you guys these directories, right? So look, these directories, let's just click on one, right? What is this doing? It's a backlink. What does it say right here? It says visit their website, visit their website, visit their website. I bet you guys, okay, I literally put my money on this. I bet you guys that every single agency here, every single one of them, okay, paid, is, is currently paying at least $100 a month, at least $100 a month just to be listed on this list here. I bet you money, okay? And that's called off page, right? You're having another website, okay? On the internet, doesn't matter what kind of website it is. It could be a directory website, it could be a blog post, it could be any kind of website, any kind of page, any kind, it doesn't matter. Social media, it doesn't matter. Other websites linking back to your website, okay? With content involved, okay? So with content involved. Okay, it has to have a little bit of content, whether it's like, you know, a little tag here, SEO, right? Little piece of quote, whether it's like a little description, right? These descriptions, all those little pieces of words next to the link help Google understand what your website's about. Does that make sense? This, it's like almost like people are talking about you. Does that make sense? Google wants to reward people who are popular. Google wants to reward people who are 
brands who are trustworthy, who are uh, going to deliver on their promises. They're not just going to put some random guy in his mom's basement, you know, on the first page of Google. That's at least they don't want to do that because they want their search engines to have efficacy. They want their search engines to have legitimacy, right? So, and people will, which, which does what? Builds trust to use Google as a product, to search things via Google, okay? So for you to, to actually rank, you don't just need backlinks. You don't just need people linking to you. Like if this just said visit site with no content around what the site's about, it won't be as powerful, okay? So getting other websites online to link slash refer back to your website. And I'm going to say here in any capacity. Okay. I can show you all kinds of links. There's, there's literally blog posts, right? Like blog post links, right? Um, there's, uh, you know, like link roundups, there's, uh, sponsored ones. So sponsored means you're paying for it. Sponsored, uh, links, you have directories, right? All kinds of directories like Yelp, 411 yellow pages google's a freaking directory right like um toronto marketing agencies or toronto seo firms or uh you know uh you know mortgage agents directories right there's tons you just got to get in these directories some of these links you got to pay for some of them you don't um, guest posts right you can do a guest post uh, there's so many ways to get these links um web 2.0s um, so these are like literally forums. Think about it like that. So what is a forum? You have like Reddit, you have like Quora, right? These types of, these types of websites, getting even links in those is going to be valuable. Okay. And ultimately the last bucket to really, really move the needle is called content. Okay. Now what you need to do here is very simple. All you're doing here is you're letting Google know that you are an active website. That's it. You're saying, hey, Google, I want to contribute to your search engine, okay? Um, and I want to create content to help searchers in Google learn more information, okay? So what does that look like? So if we go to Armando's site here, there's no blog page, is there? No, doesn't look like it. So... Armando, consider, first of all, putting a nav bar. There's nothing in your nav bar. I'd put your logo right here, put like more web, more links in your nav bar to like really learn more about you. Google wants a website that has more links, more depth, right? And then what I would do as well is I would uh, I'd go ahead and um, fix the conversion rate optimization. So you have different call to actions like that and you want to keep them all succinct and all that. Um, but really it's like, you have to put it, put in content out. Like see, even our blog, we don't even, I don't even remember the last time I touched my blog, but we have tons of posts, right? Like tons of these little posts, like blog posts. Um, and they're all about specific content that is like relevant to us and important to us, right? Like to help us rank. It's all about content. Um, we don't really invest in SEO. This was done in May 27, 2021. So even a little post like this, it's going to rank in Google and it's going to let Google know um, that you're an active website. All you're trying to say show is that you're contributing to the search engine. You're an active website. Google will favor you. Uh, and then as well, the actual content, those pages, those, these specific pages will also rank when someone says someone searches digital marketing skills, um, to be successful online. If say, they Google that there's a chance this could rank and capture that person's attention and they read this. And then you have like call to actions over here and you have your book a scale up session, right? So hopefully they click that. It's another lead gen way. So not only does content help Google realize that you're active, but content will also act as another lead generation source, okay? So it will actually act as another lead generation source only because random people could hit your content if your content ranks. Now, the only thing is it'll only act as a lead generation source if you have call to actions on the content. So if I'm reading this and there's no, no next step, there's nothing for me to click on. Let's just say I like the content, right? Even though this is really half fast, like easy content, let's just say I like it, right? And I want to like see what this company is all about. And there's no call to actions. I can't do anything about it, right? So make sure there's call to actions across your whole website. And basically you're going to solve for the fact that it's a lead gen source and you're going to solve for contributing to Google to show, show Google that you're active. Okay. Now these four things, you do them. Okay. And you do them every freaking month. Okay. And you don't stop and it's going to take like 12 months. 
Okay. It's going to take 12 months of doing this, like literally every single month. Okay. If you're, if you're uncomfortable doing some portions of it, like content, you can hire a writer in India for like $50, right? $25 a post or like 10, 20 bucks a blog post. They'll do it. They'll do it. There's people that will do it and they'll do it not too terribly as well. Make sure they have Grammarly and then boom, you have a great, uh, you know, you have a great piece of content you're contributing, right? 20 bucks a month. Sorry, 20, uh, do four of these a month. So four blog posts minimum, one a week, four blogs per month, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna build you guys an SEO price that you can go get no problem at, on your own accord and start really ranking. So four blog posts, posts a month, let's just say times $25, okay, per post. Off-page optimization is gonna be the most expensive part. If you are to invest in SEO, I would say put, a, put like 1K a month anywhere between $500 actually to one grand um, per month in backlinks. Okay. And instead of backlinks, I'm going to say in high quality backlinks. Okay. $500 a month, a hundred dollars a month. You're looking at $600 a month so far. Technical SEO, you're doing $100 one time. So it's not monthly. Okay. So first month we're looking at 700 right now. Um, and this, you can do yourself, do this yourself. So that's it. So first month, 700 bucks a month, every other month after 600 bucks a month. Okay. You have to spend money to make money. Unfortunately, this is how it works. Like you can either spend it on ads or you can spend it on SEO if it makes more sense for your business. Um, but ultimately you, you got to spend money to make money. So SEO, um, optimize. Okay. So for you to have be SEO optimized and be driving leads on a regular basis, these things need to happen and they need to happen times 12 months, minimum, absolute minimum. If you don't have the appetite to spend this much money every single month for 12 months, don't even bother. Don't even bother. Okay. Don't even bother. There's going to be too many competitors. You're going to try and you're going to be spending 300 bucks, you know, 400 bucks. If you're spending any less than that, it's, it's just not going to, you know, do anything for you. Um, but yeah, SEO optimization, you're going to want to make sure you do that. Now I literally have, um, tons of SEO case studies. So we do, we do SEO as well. Um, let me go scroll to some of those case studies. Uh, SEO case studies. So these are some of the SEO projects we've done, right? Fiat, North Houston. Here's where we, here's where we are. That's when we started rentfaster.ca. If you search Calgary apartments, search Calgary apartments, very good keyword. You have ads, 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 and then you have rentals.ca and then you have rentfaster.ca as number three. So actually I need to update that number three now. So stop doing SEO with us. You go down the head, you go down a bit. <laughs> Um, anyway, so EHN, right? We have all these different projects, rock science, like tons of SEO clients. Um, we've done it's hot.com. We search diamond watches, right? This is a really good, really good keyword diamond watches, right? Just type that in. It's hot.com is our client. So this is an ad, ad, and then boom, it's hot.com number one. Um, so we're going to update that one. Okay. So you can see that, you know, SEO projects naturally. Um, you, you, if you optimize, I've seen people who optimize for only 12 months and then never optimize again. And they're just sitting top three. They, they hover. Sometimes they go one, they go back down to three, then they go back to one uh, and they never invested again. Um, I'm actually kind of one of those people like with my, um, with my Toronto digital marketing agency keyword. Um, sometimes it's number one. Sometimes I'm the first agency listed. Sometimes I'm the second agency listed. Sometimes I'm the third agency listed accordingly right now. I'm the third. So, um, so yeah, I mean, if I invest, even if I invest two, three, four months more in SEO, I'll go from here to literally here. I can do that. No problem. I used to rank for that. Um, I can do that. No problem. So, so the point is, is that when it comes to, you know, SEO, this is literally the basics. Okay. There's more advanced stuff. There's more, I can get into more technical shit. It doesn't matter. None of that stuff matters for you guys. You just need to understand how it works. Once you understand how it works, you can hire it out and get it done for stupid cheap. Cause if you work with us, we're going to charge a lot. Um, because with SEO it's, you know, if you're going to work with an agency, 
um, is best if that agency delivers and, 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 and it's important for, for us to deliver, we like to have a backlink budget. So even like two grand a month for backlink budgets, like, you know, so the bigger that is, the better and the faster the results could be. Um, off, off page optimization. I personally think this, don't think that this is true. Don't think this is like how it works. Like I personally believe this, that off page optimization is the most important aspect of this all. I've done a lot of SEO campaigns. I've, I've solved for this to be the, the strongest and most important one. Uh, these ones, we've done campaigns with just this. 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 And the ones with just this bet did more than the ones with just the other ones. And then the other thing is we've done SEO with these two and this one without this one. And those campaigns do poorly. We've done, you know, SEO with, uh, you know, content and just off page and it's boom. So basically this is your number one focus. It's kind of like ad spend, right? You, you launch ads on, on Facebook, you're going to spend ads. Okay. You're going to spend money on ads. It's just a part of the game. This is how it works. Right. Um, if you're uncomfortable spending money on ads, don't spend money on ads, do outreach instead. There's, there's cheaper options for you, right? Don't go breaking the bank thinking that you need to run into ads right away or run into these expensive strategies right away. No one's telling you to do that. No one's telling you to, to, to launch ads right away. What, what I've been saying this entire time is to start with the low cost strategies and then get to ads. Once you've already solved for an offer that works, that has, that has worked for you, you amplify the offer with advertising. That's what I've said from day one. I'm never going to deviate from that. Um, so people who are going into this course, launching ads right out the gate, you are doing this completely wrong and you should stop what you're doing and start with outreach first. If you can't sell your offer with outreach first, do not invest in marketing. Do not invest in trying to amplify something and grow something and scale something because that's what ads are for. Same with SEO. That's what it's for. It's for scaling something. Money's already coming. Therefore, I can spend more money, okay? So you can't just do that right out the gate, start bleeding your money. You have to be making money to spend that money. So how can we make money without spending so much up front? Very simple, stick to the low cost strategies. There's so many of them, you know? Solve for cold emailing, solve for cold calling, right? Pick up the phone yourself, figure out what script's gonna work. And then delegate to a, an offshore cold caller once you've solved the cold call. You see what I mean? Don't scale anything until you've solved what you're looking to scale. Don't spend a dollar on anything until you've solved it yourself. I'm going to repeat it. So same thing here. Like, don't be dropping tons of money in SEO right now when you, when you haven't solved your offer. First, solve your offer, then go and scale your offer. Very simple. Um, I see too many people not listening to this. I see too many people just launching ads, thinking they're going to like magically make money on an offer that they've never ran before that simply hasn't even been proven yet or validated. It doesn't make sense. Like stop dropping your guac, you know, stop dropping your capital, you know, be a little bit smarter. There's, there's outreach. Okay. Do the outreach first. Okay. Um, that's how I started too. I was dialing for dollars out of my bedroom, out of my bedroom. Okay cold calling every single day. That's what I was doing every single day. You know, if you don't have money, you have time. If you don't have time, then you obviously have money, right? So those two things are interchangeable. If, if you don't have money to be spending and you're, and you're thinking you're going to be bleeding the bank, stop dropping money, start spending more time. Okay. Until that time rewards you with more money. And then you have more of this to more money to now go ahead and invest in these types of things. Okay. So um, okay. So Armando, I hope that was a good explanation of SEO. I, I just want to make sure that you, uh, you understand that you're good because now that you got your lead, you've validated, you've effectively validated that this works for you. Okay. That's what you've done. It's one lead, one quality, like you got one lead in, it became a quality lead. And now you have a high chance of closing it. Would you agree? It's a high chance, right? And that's why I love SEO. Why do I love SEO? Everyone knows what they want already. That is why they're searching for it. Okay. Remember this. Everyone, people know what they want. Hence, they are searching for it. Okay. You just happen to provide it. Okay. You just happen to provide 
that thing they are searching for. Does that make sense? It's not like ads because with ads, you don't, you're doing the reverse. You're imposing your offer on them via an advertisement and hoping that it entices them slash convinces them to opt in with you. It's the exact opposite. Okay. Um, SEO is, is, is very quality, like very, very easy, very quality leads. You guys are going to close them very quickly. Um, but you're going to have to spend like 12 months, you know, spending money on this all the time. You're not going to see any results for a long time. Okay. Um, unless you find a specific niche, right? So, you know, one of the SEO campaigns we did as well was for this, one of my buddies, uh, websites, right? He he's running this uh, software company called Addison. Okay. Now I showed you guys Facebook ad library before, right? I showed you how you can actually source out, uh, competitor ads, right? I showed you how you can, you know, quickly go here, all ads, Type in, let's just say, I don't know, like um, random company. I'm not going to go through this now, but you can search for ads, find competitor ads. And then once you find those competitor ads, you can use Addison to save those ads, right? Save them in boards so that they, you never lose them. Um, and that they're just really high quality ads, right? So he's, he's just charging $29 a month. He's got uh, almost a couple, I want to say a couple thousand uh, subscribers now. Last time I checked in with him, he had a couple hundred, but now he's probably at, you know, at least a thousand. Um, so, I mean, it's, you know, that's about $29,000 a month coming in, you know, anywhere between 10 K a month to $29,000 a month coming in every single month. This guy built a SaaS solution, software solution. And all we did for him is rank him in Google. That is it. Okay. He is not do, he's not doing anything else uh, from my knowledge, at least SEO is his most powerful thing. Okay. Just bringing in new subscriptions. It's almost like he doesn't even need to do anything. He doesn't hop on calls. It's a seven day free trial. You see what I mean? He doesn't have to hop on any phone calls. He doesn't have to like, um, you know, get on a call with someone, blah, 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 none of that. They come in from the SEO. They opt in for a seven day free trial. They become a user. That's it. He's chilling on a beach. You see, he doesn't, it's not even involved. He built the tool once and that's it. So, and, and this is like, and you, when you start getting good at SEO um, and you start understanding the power of it, like investing in softwares like these, um, and then either working with an agency or, you know, working, you know, if you understand SEO yourself, working with, you know, doing it yourself to effectively acquire, you know, that ranking, it can really be a passive income stream for you. Um, loom prospecting. Yeah. So are you talking about the loom prospecting cold emailing? Sorry. I think we had actually one more question before that. One second. Okay. Alice needs me to go to the asset review. Yeah, Alice, I will definitely get to that. My apologies. I will look at that today uh, and get that to you today. Okay. So not, no worries on that front. I also I actually thought that I responded to that one funny enough, um, but I'll get to that today and uh, we'll, we'll address that. Um, just Alice focus on low cost strategies. Okay. That's it. Don't do any ads, like unless you're willing to drop the money, unless you've, if you've solved your offer first, um, you validated it. Amazing. We can scale it. Right. Um, if you haven't validated it yet, like you're running, let's just say you're running ads on LinkedIn, as an example, um, LinkedIn, it has a very high cost per lead. Like, it, it, you know, you may as well spend that same money on TikTok or spend that same money on Facebook because LinkedIn will not yield, uh, LinkedIn ads will not yield as high results as the cheaper CPM platforms. Right. So, um, if you are running ads, try to go for a, um, a, uh, if you are running ads with LinkedIn, I would say try to go for a cheaper platform up front. That way you're spending less money. $400 on TikTok can get you like 40 leads, 50 leads. On LinkedIn, $400 might get you like three, four. You know, it's just how the platform works, you know. But but then again, it's LinkedIn. You might get a higher quality lead. Who knows, right? Um, so anyways, we'll, 